Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here, and today I'm going to show you how I build octagon buildings in my camp, like the one I did for Dracula's Tower. So let's jump on in. Starting today's build, we're going to start with this plus sign in our camp, and I'm using different colors of the foundations, especially these ones with the checkerboard, because they give us a good focal point for determining uh, how we're placing these foundations. So grab yourself a foundation, put it at an angle, and we're going to kind of wedge it between these two foundations here in the gap. And we want to make sure that we're using the other foundations as a guide so that we are putting it to where these corners intersect equidistant from the others. It's actually creating this little triangle of open space as we go. And like, again, putting different foundations with the patterns on them will allow you to better judge that you have these two corners intersecting in about the same place. It does not have to be perfect, but what you don't want is a lot of overlap of those corners into the other foundations, and you should end up with something that looks like this as you go through. Now, the next step we need to do is push these foundations that we originally used as a guide and we put those uh, corners touching uh, push them forward to where they fill in the gap between the corners of the ones we previously placed. And this is completing our octagon shape. Um, take the time to place these with, and make sure that they are, you know, point to point on the foundations. Make sure that they are the same height. This is a lot of freehand building, but if you take the time to build this right, you'll be able to blueprint it and you'll be able to place this anytime you want. So doing it the right way the first time is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. You should end up with something like this once we push those foundations forward. And now we need to place some walls because what we're going to do is blueprint with the walls in these foundations and then placing the blueprint will actually make the foundations merge inside and and they will merge with each other uh, in doing so. Now uh, you're going to want to make sure that your walls are placed where the wallpaper side is facing the inside of our octagon shape. So put a foundation on the inside and then just kind of move it around uh, to each point of the octagon and place your wall and then you should end up with something that looks like this. Very clear octagon shape at this point. And now you're going to blueprint the foundation and the wall at each point of the octagon. And while you're doing this, just make sure that your uh, walls are touching, that they're flush. There's not any gaps. There's not any issues with the height of the walls. Because if you don't, uh, then again, you're going to end up with a weird shape at the end where things don't mesh very well. So once we make our blueprint, we can then move on to placing it. And when you do, like I said, these foundations merge to the inside and with each other, and you have a nice clean octagon camp, and you can go from there. Now you can put roofs onto this and have it merge the same time when you place the blueprint. So you're going to want to build something that looks similar to what you're seeing now. You're going to have to put the roof on the inside and then place it on the outside, kind of like what we did with the walls and getting them to face the right direction. But when we place this, we're going to get a nice clean merged set of roofs. You can do this with the angled roofs as well. And then you're gonna end up with a hole in the center of your bottom foundations. And just put a rug down, it'll cover that up and you're good to go. Thanks for watching everyone. That's it for today's how to build video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vlad Administrator Gaming. Until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.